for you. Our flirty, flirty eyes will wink in your direction. We will throw you all a kiss that's filled with sweet affection. If you keep applauding for us, we will give a better show. A great big howdy do from the ladies of the chorus just for you. Girl, I'll put you on a Broadway show. Oh, I suppose he thinks that's a new angle. Millie, the guy writes me a letter and he says he wants to marry me. His two can live as cheaply as one. As long as one of us is working. Oh, what's the matter with that? Nothing, only I'm the one that's working. So I said, listen, wise guy, I don't like anybody driving with one hand. So the schmo takes his other hand off the wheel and we crash into a tree. I wonder why my girdle's getting so small. Jerry, maybe you're crowding too much into it. My dogs are killing <laughs> Mine are, too. I got a date with a cab driver. Yeah, where are you going? Who's going? We're parking. There's no business like show business. Eh, shut up. Would you help me, honey? Well, look who's here. The star herself. The queen of the quivers. Hi, Bubbles. Slumming Bubbles? It's so seldom we're honored by a visit from the star. Ain't you off the reservation, dearie? Maybe she's getting material for a book. Oh, can she write? Turn blue. Hi, Peg. Hello, Bubbles. Want to go on a date? Oh, he's a swell guy. Crazy to meet you. Oh, when are you going to stop being tied to your old lady's apron strings? Why don't you let the kid go out and have some fun before her hair turns as gray as yours? I don't mind her going out, Bubbles, but not with your particular kind of friends. Of course, if she wants to go, it's all right with me. But I don't think she wants to go. Okay, mother. I'll just get one of the others to go along. Now, which one of you ladies wants to go on a blind date? That's for me. I'm going to make some coffee. Would you like some? No, thanks. Well, how about some crackers and milk? I don't think so. What's the matter, honey? When are you going to let me feel grown up? Letting you go out with Bubbles LaRue and her men friends. Would that make you feel grown up? No, I don't mean those kind, but I never go out with anyone. Do you feel bitter about that? Not bitter, Mother. Well, why should you want to go out on a blind date with some middle-aged guy who's probably married and has a family? There you go, judging people, criticizing them when you don't even know them. You always do that, Mother. Look, darling, I'm, I'm only... I'm sick of the idea of not being able to go anywhere or do anything without the written consent of my mother. I'm tired of being treated like a child. I'm going to bed. If I gotta do one more show, I'm gonna drop dead. I can't make it. I can get so I can't go out at night. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Eh, shut up. So I went out, and that cab driver forgot to park. And he says to me, I'd like to see your show, baby. How about a couple of passes? The nerve. And the guys I go out with don't want passes. They just make them. Speaking of passes, I've been knocking down so many lately, I feel like an all-American. Get a load of them lilacs. Jerry, them ain't no lilacs. Of course like not. That? Those are snap dragons. On her, they look good. Yeah. Hi, Peg. Hi, Bubbles. Like it? It's lovely. You know, you could have something like that, too. That party still wants to meet you, and he's awfully generous. Why don't you go away and leave Peggy alone? I'll speak for myself. Oh, the voice of the turtle finally coming out of your shell. Oh, go crawl back into the woodwork. Why, you gray-haired old hag. Shut your mouth or I'll slap it shut. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, no? Oh, 
What do you think this is, Madison Square Garden? She ain't gonna get away with it. She ain't gonna get away with it. Just get her out of here, that's all. Okay, okay. A fine thing, fighting like a couple of alley cats. What are you trying to do, give burlesque a bad name? Well, if you think I'm I'm not supposed to think. I'm the stage manager. My job is to get this show on. Now beat it on stage, all of you. Can't you hear the overture? Come on, places, everybody. Come on, now fix your makeups and get up there. Do you ever see anybody hurry you? Oh, no, rush yeah. you. Oh, fire, oh, hurry you. Oh, you're waiting there. You two, get dressed. Who are you ordering around? What do you want me to do? Say please? I ain't one of your stooges. Okay, so you're the big attraction with this turkey and you get top billing. So if you'd have stayed in your dressing room and let these kids alone, there wouldn't have been no trouble. So the show is about to start. So get out there and get dressed. Is that so? Well, I ain't going out there. I'm quitting. Right now, this minute, see? This turkey can fold for all I care. Hey! Maybe you can get that old hag to go on in my place. Oh, she ought to kill him with her corny wig and her bones cracking. Oh, May. Joe, I'm sorry. Forget it. Bubbles just walked up. Walked out? Yeah, quit. That's tough. I want you to go on and do a number. Me? Sure, you can still go out there and knock the customers cold like you used to. But that was years ago, Joe. Let's face it. Yeah, I... leave us face it, May. The show must go on, remember? Okay, it'll go on. At a girl. Use Bubbles' dressing room. The costumes are all in there. What did Joe want? Peggy, you're going on a bubble spot. What? What happened? Bubbles just walked out. But, Mother. Baby, you know the number backwards. I'll have the orchestra change the key, and you can use Bubbles' whistle. <laughs> smile in your direction tells the world my heart is filled with nothing but affection lock me in your arms forever that's a place i want to be so anyone can see that i belong to you and you belong to me never did it like that. That's too good for this turkey. You put one over on me, May. Aren't you glad? Yes, I am. And the kid stays in that spot. Thanks, Joe. I want to be so anyone can see that I belong to you and you belong to me. 